the personal dimension where you to care about your students means an investment of time. And it's yes being critical, it's being supportive, and yes, we have to assess students. We do all kinds of things, but we're in the community. Classroom is a community, whether it's a lecture hall of 100 students, 50, or, or three in a seminar, there's still a community dimension. And how the professors and the instructors um, situate themselves in that environment with students to benefit their learning, we also learn as instructors, right? And it was a very powerful uh, and satisfying kind of experience all the years later when I look back, because I see in my own practice, as well as my, my faculty, um, behaving in those kinds of very positive ways with students. So there is that kind of personal dimension. It's not just how big the class is, but it's how you are flexible, how you listen to students, and it becomes a, a reciprocal kind of relationship that leads to something better, and ultimately they leave, and, and then they become our partners when they go into classrooms. They become our best allies. They become um, ambassadors for our program. So, you know, if you don't do the hard work with them, when they're here, and, and by that I mean put in the time, you have to be kind of selfless. I mean, you spend a lot of time with students because we like, I mean, we wouldn't be doing this otherwise. Um, so it's kind of a long, I mean, it's kind of a bit of my own story, but I think we see a lot of those dimensions with uh, professors here as well, and, and we're only as good as our professors, and uh, students come here with all kinds of uh, motivation, dreams, and hopes and aspirations, and part of our role is to, is to dream along with them, and we have a responsibility, obviously, to, to assist them in lots of different ways, but it's not just one thing, and I think it's easy always to reduce it to, you know, it's a course, it's 13 weeks long, they get a grade, next class, it's not really like that here.